people don't want you to change. They want you to, to be whatever you were originally that uh, uh, captured their imagination. And the guy that wrote Blind in Texas doesn't exist anymore. And I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. I mean, we all grow. I, I think it's important for any artist to reinvent themselves also from time to time because I don't care who you are, you're going to eventually get to the point where you're bored with yourself and when you get bored with yourself, you're going to bore the audience. I am a, a real avid art fan. I collect art, you know, sculpting, paintings, things like that. <clears throat> and I discovered very painfully years ago that you buy art because you like it, not because you think it's going to be valuable. If that's true, then you make art for the same reasons. You make it because you like it, not because you think it's going to be worth something. So, and I don't mean to sound arrogant by doing this. It's just what's happened to me is one of the good byproducts of making this was an inner peace that I discovered about myself. And I'm going to do whatever I want to do from now on. And if somebody likes it, fine. And if they don't, that's fine, too. Because I think ultimately, and like I said, I know that sounds real arrogant. I don't mean it to be. I'm trying to make a point that any, whether it's me or any artist, the only way that they can ever achieve that is by being true to themselves. I, there may be some guys out there who do stuff that they don't believe in. And I'm sure that there are. But I'm glad to say that I'm not one of those. I wrote a song called Forever Free. And I got a letter from a woman whose daughter had been killed in a car accident. And her boyfriend had been diagnosed with terminally, he was terminally ill with cancer. So he decided he was going to commit suicide. So he, get, he gets his girlfriend in the car, drives off a cliff, kills her, doesn't kill him. And the mother wants to know whether she can use excerpts from the lyrics to put on her daughter's headstone. Now you tell me how somebody could get letters like that day in and day out and not be affected by what they're doing for a living. You would have to be subhuman not to feel it.